Hello everybody, it's Connor and Pete from Sinity Gaming. Happy Sunday everybody. Happy Sunday. And this is Sunday the 10th of May and um, yeah, lots of things have happened last week. David Cameron's still Prime Minister. What is, this, is this in the news? It's the main article? Don't know. Um, it's probably the biggest bit of news this week to no, be I fair. No, mean in this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> sod that. Um, let's get on with the game releases for this week. Let's get down to the more important things, shall we? So, the game releases this week. Um, Project Cards. Now, I said last week about uh, the fact that it might be coming out on console. It is coming out on console. Um, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's coming out on Tuesday or not. I've seen a few websites saying Tuesday, and I've seen a few saying that it's already out. Yeah, it's out already. So, yeah, I might have, a couple of my friends have got it. Oh, all right then. It's already out then, apparently. So that's wrong. Thank you very much, um, everybody, <laughs> and all the review sites and that that I've looked on that have said Project Cars comes out on the twelfth, unless that's the US date, which well, might make that sense. Might be an explanation. But it's already out in the UK. Uh, so yeah, that's coming out on the Xbox One and PS4. We got Nom Nom Galaxy coming out on the <laughs> PS4. <laughs> what a name! I don't know what that game is, but it's something. Final Fantasy X. I guess that actually no, it must be Final Fantasy X and X-2 HD Remaster. Okay, that's a bit odd. That's coming out on the PlayStation 4. Also on Tuesday the 12th, we've got Attack on Titan, Humanity in Chains coming out on the 3DS, and Invincible Incorporated coming out on the PC, Mac, and Linux. Wednesday, or Wednesday, the 13th of May. We've got to do the Wednesday thing, haven't oh, yeah, we? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's on, sorry, Wednesday the 13th. We've got uh, Lifeless Planet coming out on the Xbox One. That really does look lifeless, if hmm. anything to go by the box art. don't really know why they need the cables for electricity. There's nothing there. No. Uh, Thursday, the 14th of May, we've got 3D Thunderblade coming out on the 3DS. Axion Verge coming out on the PC, Mac, and Linux. Galactic Civilizations 3 coming out on PC. And we've also got Not a Hero coming out on PC, so I'm just going to call that game Villain instead. <laughs> anyway, I'll hand you over to some... Uh, I'll hand you over to some news. I'm hand you over to Pete, who's got some news, and I'm fairly certain he'll like one of the articles. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Good day, everyone. It's me again, and I'm doing the news. You again, it's as always. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront to come with twelve maps. Yes. Twelve. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it was recently I was a bit disappointed revealed. when I saw that. By EA and DICE, uh, that the upcoming Battlefront game will come with 12 maps from launch, which doesn't really seem a lot in comparison when I think of Battlefront 2. I can't That's remember. just coming up next. Uh, um, 12 maps may not seem like a lot, but it isn't. Um, however, the last game, Battlefront 2, came with double that, uh, 24 maps. Good maths there. Uh, it could be possible that more maps will be released at a later stage, I bloody well hope so, by um, from pay DLC. You only have to pay for it, which isn't brilliant. Yeah, probably. But, um, uh, at the moment, there are four planets that we have uh, access to, with each of them having multiple maps to play in. Uh, on with some places that haven't been seen in Star Wars Battlefront before. No idea what those could be. Uh, the four planets that we have um, access to are Endor, Hoth, Tatooine, and your new... What the hell? Sol Sol Solust. Solust. Yeah, I, I think that, that's new to Battlefront. Do you reckon that's a new planet developed by the EA or whatever? Possibly. Oh, okay. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront is due to launch on the 20th of November this year in the UK on the Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Yeah, it's uh, coming out on the 17th in the US. Oh, is it? Which, really annoying. Why does it always come out earlier in the US? I know it's sort of like the main... I, mean, I know it's made like by US companies and stuff, but yeah, I mean, maybe... Battlefront's being... Not Battlefront, but the new Star Wars film's being filmed in the UK. Yeah, exactly. I know this has nothing to do with the film, but... Hmm. Even still, it's being filmed in the UK. It'll probably come out in the US first. There you go, then. Uh, next bit of news. New Nintendo theme park ride. I have no idea that Nintendo even had a theme park. No, they haven't. Yeah. Uh, it was recently reported that Universal Parks and Resorts are currently working on with Nintendo to create a new ride featuring Nintendo's beloved games and characters. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment... Dust. What are, you, what are you doing? Getting rid of dust. On your Xbox? Yes, I hate Dear. dust. Tut, tut, tut. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't know what kind of ride they are planning on to create, uh, nor what games and characters they will be based around. It'll probably be uh, a family ride. Probably Mario. I as mean, as much see. as I'd like it to be like a huge thrill-seeking roller coaster, I can't imagine it will be. No, it'll probably be like, like a Nintendo sort of... games are aimed at younger people. Yeah, probably about log flumes around. Um, do you remember that 
track on the Wii, a Mario Kart. Yeah. What was that one you had to go down that tube in that waterfall and stuff? Um, oh, I can't I know. I I'm can't sure remember. some. I'm I haven't sure played Mario Kart there. for years. Uh, anyway, what was I? Uh, video games are slowly becoming the new um, theme to many new roller coasters, with Universal creating attractions based on the Resident Evil and Silent Hill series. Uh, at the moment, we don't know when to expect this new ride, as it is still in the very early. I'll tell you something, stages. guys. What would be quite cool is if they had like Mario Kart Dodgems Dodge. and have like all the different Mario Kart cars. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. So actually. yeah, right. You'll love this third bit of news. I think it'd be a bit unfair if there was like a the monster truck go kart. Yeah, then. I have to keep them the same yeah, size, obviously. Yeah. I like this next bit of news. You'll love this next bit of news. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Well, you said last week you wanted to do something on the election. I didn't mean it, did I? Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you didn't mean it. <laughs> it's so. nothing to do with gaming. Well, there's a bit of stuff to do with gaming at the end. Oh god, all right then. Uh, uh, yeah, as you probably heard, um, <laughs> you Cam- will have heard Cameron's party's won the election. The Conservatives. Uh, uh, read it from the top. I'm just getting to that, right? Uh, on the seventh of May, the UK took um, to the polling station. Everybody apart from Pete. <laughs> I wasn't the only one who didn't vote. <laughs> uh, to the polling stations to vote for a new government, which saw David Cameron and the Conservative Party come out on top of us. I can't believe, I can't believe this. we're talking about politics on CGN. Yeah, this is the stuff. Oh, God. don't do this again. No, I won't. Actually, we have to wait five years for the next bit. Yeah. Of news, so, uh, uh, the Conservative Party managed to secure 331 primary school chair seats, or whatever you call them, uh, including David Cameron's Whitney constituency. Hooray. Woo, I don't care. Shout out to Whitney, which is near us. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, which meant that the Conservatives had enough seats to govern the country themselves without the form of Without the need. Without the need to form a <laughs> Without the form. <laughs> we don't have the form. Oh, God. Uh, the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats suffered uh, from disappointing results, uh, which led to the resignation of Miliband and Clegg, the party leaders. Just in case you don't know, Ed Miliband was the Labour leader and Nick Clegg was the Liberal Democrat leader. I'm not really surprised Clegg was because he got like, what, no seats or something? He got eight. Eight. And Ed Miliband did all right. He got 232. 232. So there was 99 between Conservatives and Labour. I thought the Liberal Democrats were like sort of the third main party. They were. The SNP did quite well. They got 56. Clearly, because it's Scotland though. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what the SNP is? Scottish National Party. It's the Scottish... Is it Scottish National or Scottish National Party? Yeah. Um, Scotland is basically part of the UK, but sort of the north bit of it. If yes. you don't, if you if you're not from around here, yes. uh, UKIP leader Nigel Farage also resigned as party leader, as uh, they only managed to secure, to secure one seat. Uh, Cameron is currently deciding on the next cabinet, and some reshuffling of his ca- not card, sorry, of MPs <laughs> uh, is likely to happen. However, it seems likely that Wantage MP Ed. Fe- Why are we including Wantage? Well, you need to read this bit. Wantage MP Ed Vase is likely to retain his role for Minister for culture, communications, and creative industries, which include the video games industry. Yes! So therefore, that just He's because... our MP as well. So We're therefore... lucky we've got the guy that's in charge of video games. So, because of this, like, because Ed Vase is our local MP and he, he does video games, this is the reason why you put this in. No. You said last week you wanted to mention <laughs> about the election results. God. Go and watch last week. He did say. <laughs> yeah, fair you, re- you did. And um, I think Ed Vase does quite a good job, actually, as the minister for is it culture, communications, yeah. and creative industries? What's well, the end of CPN for this week? The Synergy Political <laughs> News. Uh, we'll see you next week for the traditional gaming format. Uh, unless anything else happens. It was mostly gaming. So, yeah, fair enough. Um, thank you C-G-P-N. so much. CGPN. Synergy. Pol- Sinity Gaming Politics News. Gaming Politics. Or Politics Gate. I, I don't gaming. know. Anyway, um, maybe we can have a merger between the two. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for more entertaining politics. Goodbye.